the new map Lotus, possible worth, and how they want to be used in games. Guys, just launched. It's your bunny, and Riot's third site map load is stirring up some discussion between Valorant players. Your competitive games will feel like a coin flip since the best agent choices for each new map are constantly a topic of discussion. But don't worry, we have our top agent selections for each role on Lotus to guide you. Second three site map, however, it's not at all like Haven. The two rotating doors on the map are its major feature. One is situated between a tree and some rubble, while the other one is situated between B May and C Mound. The most remarkable feature of these rotating doors is how loud they are when they are opened, instantly alerting everybody around to the enemy's location and that they were the ones who pressed the button. The door might be viewed as a barrier that prevents the attacking team from reaching, while the seat door could be used as a quick rotation path for the assaulting team in exchange for warning the defenders of your intentions with a loud bang when it opens. Phoenix is our single rudder duelist for Lotus, and he starts off our tier list. Phoenix is basic but powerful. On a map with many delays and turns, Kit is a great choice for him. His flashes are simple to deploy and may surprise adversaries in practically any position, whether they are attacking or defending. For the wider sections of the map that your team is seeking to pressure, Phoenix flashes give cover. A proficient Phoenix player could successfully execute their ultimate three to four times in one half. Following an eight, we have both Neon and Rays in this instance. Close range imperfect maps are perfect for these two agents in which the utility can truly shine. Although we believe that Neon in particular has the ability to be a best agent on Lotus, we were forced to reduce her ranking because she does need more teamwork than the other duelists. Because there are so many difficult angles on this level, her stuns and wall may be fantastic resources when used properly. In the suitable hands, our Jet, Rayna and Yoru complete the duelist category in tier. Starting with Jet, we find it difficult to imagine how she will find any value given the amount of area she is required to traverse. Jet finds it challenging to clear the area and all the angles. We don't believe that selecting on Jet on Lotus is satire because he is one of Valorant's most adaptable agents. Rather, we believe that there are better possibilities. Although Yoru still carries an off threat that may be extremely helpful in combating longer range angles around A and C, is it enough to choose her over Phoenix Razor Neon? Time will only tell. Reyna joins Jet on tier as well because she mostly focuses on fragging out independent of the map. Reyna is only truly useful if the person controlling the character really targeting enemies. The Initiator class is the next item on our list, and our agent KO is the one to start the tier for us. Because of what he provides to a squad trying to quickly gain ground, KO is the logical choice for top Lotus agent. KO Knife, which unlike salvaging dart or fades or doesn't require line of sight, is still the only power in the game that prevents the adversary from deploying their own abilities. Lotus is a large map, thus, when one of the bomb locations is being heavily attacked, assistance may not arrive for up to 15 seconds. For sight takes, the ability to disable the enemy's skills at this time is almost too powerful. Sky and Breach are the two individuals who come after KO in the altar. These two agents aim to flash and stun opponents, much like Ko, so their duelists can win, especially because we anticipate that it will appear on the most of meta compositions in any game in solo queue, reducing that reach should be simple. Breach can be challenging to maximise value from, though, because you must rely on others to benefit from your usefulness, despite the fact that in a circumstance like this, his stun is ideal for seizing control of places like a B or even C major skies. Her ultimate on these larger maps, though, has the potential to be really wild for taking mid-round calls or even for full hitting bomb positions. We believe the previously mentioned agents outshine the initiator we have placed in Valorant Fade since she suffers on maps where her eye can be difficult to conceal from or from which her prowlers can't readily search out enemies following the nerf to her prowlers reign. Although she isn't in the chair right now, she is still a good agent. Simply said, some people use Lotus a little bit more effectively. Finally, on the C tier, we have Sova and Fade, who are equally proficient at obtaining information. No matter which ability you use, Sova's Dart or Fade's Eye, 
It struggles if it can't get in front of the enemy's location in plain sight. Sova and Fade are similar other than the fact that Sova lacks two prowlers and an ultimate that requires a full bomb sight. Moving on to Sentinel Agents, it is evident why we have some top docs on Lotus. Killjoy will be our primary S-tier Sentinel on Lotus after much thought about whether he and Cypher could both contend for the top slot in S-tier on a map. Kilroy's capacity to monitor several locations, as well as various sections of the map, cannot be discounted. We can see that Killjoy has the capability to tick those boxes on attack. Lotus with three bomb locations control will be difficult for defenders to maintain. Her turret's limitless field of sight are great for protecting the flanks and gives your squad more than enough time to deal with the defenders. Of course, Cypher is a tier sentinel. Cypher trips are great for checking many areas of the map because they aren't range. Restricted, and his camera is great for watching enemies bridging long angles, which Lotus does have a lot of. However, his ultimate isn't all that impressive, especially in a single Q situation. Cypher is a good choice on Lotus overall, usually able to carry games due not being as strong as Killjoy. Sage is in the B tier. Sage is a unique sentinel because she doesn't really give out information or use her utility to achieve quick kills. To optimize insight, and utility, unless you're grim walling up, infraging it out may be incredibly difficult. Some sites may be secured by her wall, and simple bomb deployments can prevent enemies from retaking them. We are here to inform you that the D-tier chambers are where you will find our boy chamber. In every stage of play, whether it was a Silver Solo K game or Vic Champs, Nurse were really harsh on him. As he lost a lot of power over the map, Chamber is struggling to stand on his own, and unhappily, we don't believe that will alter anyone, I think, of the Lotus. Last but not least, our controller class of agents is available for listing. When it comes to exact strength, the controllers on Lotus were without a doubt the toughest ones we had. I ultimately chose this to be the controller tier list, beginning with the top place. Brimstone and Atea are the controllers listed at positions 4 or respectively. Ignoring the fact that Brimstone only carries three smokes, we still believe that his lightning, quick executions and stem beacon make him a very powerful choice for the Lotus Squad. Harbour now. Since his debut, Harbour has been considered as one of the game's worst agents. He is even competing with you for the title of most underpowered agent upon debut. On the other hand, if your team prefers to play a slow, boring game, harbour recharging curving walls made of Viper are ideal for Lotus. Tidal Wave may be employed at a variety of lengthy angles to protect your squad. Also develop devastating timings that the enemy cannot ignore. We both have Astra and Omen. Additionally, there were two charged Omens in the S tier for controllers. For the majority of maps, smokes work reasonably well, however on Lotus your team has to smoke big distances fast in order to advance safely. Since you're usually seeking to flash at close range, we believe that omen smokes are a little too extremely slow to place, and omens flash also struggles to find value on Lotus. When it comes to laying smokes down on their shortness in comparison to certain sections of the map, Astra is essentially in the same position as alone. Although it is possible that Astra may employ sucks and stunts to aid her team in clearing part of the map, the high-tiered initiators already succeeded in doing so, therefore it makes little sense to give up superior smokes for more. Our last eight has Viper descending as well as Chamber and D-tier. Both Lotus and Haven experience the same Viper issue. She is unable to command the map alone since her orb and wall are simply insufficient to cover all the crucial angles. Therefore, if you choose Viper, you must forgo an agent selection in favour of something like Brimstone, Omen, significantly weakening your squad even though that she is well coordinated and simple to read. That nearly finishes our list of Lotus agent tiers. It is preferable to leave her on the agent pick screen. We hope that this video will make entering Lotus easier. Get simpler whatever position you have. Good luck in your next rated games. In the following one, I'll see everyone in next video.